today what we're gonna be doing is building a space station in Kerbal Space Program because I have always wanted to, but I was not good enough to like know how to dock and everything. So we have a lot of different structural pieces we can use. Let's just build like a central docking thing. Let's do a medium sized station and then structure up from that. Yeah, check that out. Cause square is gonna be better for docking and then some sort of docking area. So literally just a small tank because it's just to adjust the orbit. And then look how cool these are. Check this out. And then it opens as a docking port, what? And then for our engine, we just want a Terrier probably, or even a, the Cornet. This engine is going to be the most efficient. And then maybe we have some structural parts first. This looks like a good base. Cause then we can add more stuff coming out here, but let's add a little top section. That's going to have, you know, our important stuff like the probe and a battery. This is going to be our like first module. Now let's figure out how to get this thing into space. I don't even think we need a fairing for this because it's so built like a rocket anyway. We need a stage to bring it to orbit, which honestly a terrier should probably do that. And then maybe we should go medium here. And then we shouldn't need that much in this tank. I think we might need more thrust than what the mainsail can give us. So what if we did a yeah engine mount? Okay. And then do vectors probably. Vectors are very powerful. Okay, honestly, this should work. This should be the easy one because we're just launching it and then we're going to bring more parts up and dock it with it later. Okay, let's see. I did not put any fins, which might have been a mistake. Luckily, the vectors are very good engines and we should be able to have control anyway. Yeah, no fins was a mistake. No fins was a mistake. I need to get as high as possible with this stage then. Oh boy, we're burning up now. Okay, if I would have added fins, this would have worked a lot better. Okay, we might need to redo this. It's spinning because I didn't add fins, so it's not aerodynamic and it's fighting the air. I literally have no way to turn it around. All right, <laughs> I gotta add fins. This is it, I believe. Oh. Bye, have a great time. Uh... Well, this is awkward. We can save it. What do you mean? We're fine. We're fine. Bro, why is it impossible to control? Okay, wait. What is wrong with my rocket? I actually don't know. Let's just try to go more straight up then. We should be out of the atmosphere. How come it's turning? Why is it doing that? Pick the center of mass and live. Okay. We'll need to make sure it's better on the next attempt. On the next launch when we bring something up to dock. And then stage. Okay, we should be good now. They should get it to orbit. We're not in orbit at all. What? Why does the game, why does the game hate me? It said I would be in orbit. Sad day for um, our little station here. So the issue is we need more thrust with this stage. So let's use a sustainer engine because this one has 188 and we are using this one, which only had 30. Um, okay, let's also check our center of mass. How do I make it not wobble like it did? Watch this, we just put stabilizer. And put another battery here so it doesn't drain all of our battery. Boom. Okay, so here's the change I made. I made it thicker higher up so that it should be more stable aerodynamically, maybe. It does feel like we have more control, which is nice. One minute to burn. I think this is going to be the one. Three, two, one, cut. Check that out. We have made it to orbit. We have a lot of extra fuel. So next launch on our next one, I'm gonna like half this fuel tank. Just put like half of what that was. Now we should be able to break this off and we still have this engine for adjusting the orbit if we need to. And we can actually open these now, right? And shoot off this. Okay, that opened that and then shoot off that. Here's the base of our space station. So now we can bring other modules up and dock them onto here, here, and here. And we do have solar panels, so this should not run out of fuel. So we just need a docking port on the top of it. So we need a probe.
Make sure not to launch too fast. I didn't wait for this to be in a window. We'll figure it out. I'm not the best at docking, but I can do it. I know how to do it. It's just not very good at it. Um, we have this cool solar module. We can even open them. Watch this. We're trying to dock this onto our current station that's already up here. Whoa. And they should automatically turn around and face the sun. Yeah, look. Oh, wow. Unlimited electricity. Um, ideally, we would be aimed so that all of them could get sunlight. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. You could see the icon. Watch this. Come on. Please don't be going too fast. Ah! Yes! We did it! Ah -ha -ha! I told you guys, I told you. Never doubt me. We have successfully docked on the giant solar panel section of the rocket. Wow, okay. That was very difficult. It took like 30 minutes. <laughs> I think we have time to do one more module today. So let's just put some Kerbals on here to live, you know? So let's probably just dock them. Let's just do a little one and dock it onto here. Let's switch our rocket around and we're going to get rid of this section because we do not need it. And we need to build a little Kerbal habitation section now. Question for anyone who plays Kerbal Space Program. If there is a RCS tank, can I put them up here too? Will they work or do they have to be touching the tank? Like if I also put them right here, does that work? You can put RCS everywhere you want. Okay, perfect. Okay, how do we feel about this for the Kerbal spot? We can fit five. Bob will be our pilot, the trustworthy pilot. This one's a lot heavier, so there's less fuel, like less Delta V. Oh, I don't know if this will make it. We might need to uh, add some more fuel to this one. I think this might be a fail, but I feel like we have this stage still. Why does it say no Delta V? Oh, okay. Well, that was a mistake. It says zero Delta V, but we clearly have Delta V. This piece, get out of here. What is happening? The game is bugged. It's saying I don't have any control. Control from here. What? Oh, there we go. Okay, what was that? See if we can make it to orbit. Let's see if the game thinks we can make it. Okay, it does. Good okay, then. I'm just gonna go for this. Three, two, one, cut. Okay. So now we need to set this to target and then go retrograde relative to target. We should start to see the icon for it. It should be, yeah, it's right there. Okay. There it is. There it is, everybody. We're going for it now. Okay, let's dock onto here. This is so hard to control. No, 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 don't, don't, don't do that, don't do that. What? Oh, we did it. Wait, it docked. Okay. I wasn't ready for that. We did it. All right, everybody. We have now docked these onto the space station. We will take it. Now burn the station. Come on, I just spent the last two hours of my life building this station. Uh, okay, that's going to be it for the station today. But if you guys want me to add more stuff to it, let me know. I'm talking to the YouTube people so you can comment. Okay, we're going to try to just let it burn up to see what happens. We are dropping it low enough that it's going to start hitting part of the atmosphere. We're just dropping the, the PE, as you can see here. It's definitely low enough to start having bad stuff happen, but I'll just keep going until we run out of fuel or it's like super low. Okay, well, it's starting to hit some air, as you can definitely see. Uh, it is not like this. Bruh, this is three times speed. This is real speed now. It is hitting the air and spinning like crazy. Look at the happy Kerbals. They don't know what coming. Yeah, they don't even, they don't even care. They're going like straight down now. There's so much air resistance. Like what is happening? The wind is like blowing them around. What? They're going the opposite direction they started. They're falling so slow, actually. These are acting like almost like wings or parachutes. Slow them down. There's a chance they might survive. Look how slow they're going now. This is actually crazy. I thought they would burn up and already be dead. They survived re-entry because of the way it picked up on the air. Okay, let's see what happens. See if they survive. So there's a big chance that they could totally survive. No way, they did! They survived! All the Kerbals survived. They're all right here. That is crazy. Wow. Okay, so um, this could survive re-entry. Thank you all for coming, everybody. Love you all. Goodbye.